Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Brewer, one of the dermatologic surgeons here at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I'm going to talk to you about a rare form of cancer called a malignant fibrous histiocytoma. A malignant fibrous histiocytoma, otherwise known as an MFH, is a soft tissue sarcoma. A soft tissue sarcoma is a type of cancer that happens in the soft areas of our body, such as the skin, or the soft areas just beneath the skin. Most of the time, an MFH happens in patients in their 60s and 70s. MFHs can start on the skin, and when it does, MFHs usually look like a reddish, irritated area of the skin. The skin can become red and irritated by many reasons. Sometimes this, if the skin touches something that is irritating, a process called dermatitis can occur where the skin becomes irritated. Because MFH can look just like dermatitis, sometimes MFH can be misdiagnosed and time can pass before it is evaluated and biopsied properly. Risk factors for developing MFH include having a previous exposure to radiation from some other reason in the past. If a large amount of radiation is delivered to the body for some other reason, radiation can irritate the skin and cause an irritated response called radiation dermatitis. Again, an MFH can look just like radiation dermatitis. Thus, if a person has received radiation in the past, and has a particularly severe form of radiation dermatitis that does not seem to be resolving, a biopsy may be warranted to make sure that the person has not developed an, an, an MFH in that area. In addition, an MFH can occur beneath the skin. If an MFH starts beneath in the soft tissue areas beneath the skin, this usually presents itself as a hardening bump underneath the skin. This can be kind of a subtle change that is difficult to pick up on, again delaying the diagnosis. If an irritated area of the skin or a hard bump underneath the skin is suspicious for cancer, then a biopsy would be performed where a portion of this area is removed and evaluated under the microscope. The main treatment for an MFH is surgery. There are two main forms of surgery available. One form of surgery is where a margin of normal skin is removed around the MFH called a wide local excision. Another form of surgery that is sometimes used to treat an MFH is called Mohs micrographic surgery. Mohs micrographic surgery is a specialized surgical technique where a small area of normal skin is removed around the cancer and then the entire edge is evaluated under the microscope. If when evaluating the edge under the microscope portions of the MFH are found to involve the edge then more skin is removed in that exact area and evaluated again under the microscope and this is performed until all of the cancer is gone. There are some reports that suggest most micrographic surgery can offer a higher cure rate for particular forms of MFH. MFH, however, can be quite deep and large and can grow to the point where it involves the muscle and bone. If an MFH is large and involves deeper portions such as the muscle and bone, more aggressive surgical techniques may be needed in order to get rid of the cancer, including amputation. In addition, some patients who have been diagnosed with very deep or aggressive forms of an MFH may require other treatments in addition to surgery, such as radiation delivered to the area after the tumor has been removed. If you have been diagnosed with an MFH, the best option for treatment is seeking out a multidisciplinary group of physicians that have been trained to treat rare forms of cancer. At Mayo Clinic, there are a number of doctors that have been trained to treat rare forms of soft tissue sarcomas, such as an MFH. These include dermatologic surgeons like myself, general surgeons, oncologists, 
radiologists, and full-time researchers. Thank you.